Hi, my name is Elena Alonso, most of you already know me. I'm the head of the Skyscraper project and I'm here to explain to you how the elevator mechanics experiment works. First, let's identify the parts. You need to have, this is the elevator shaft, this is the cab, this is the counterweight, both of them move. These are the pulley systems that we will be using in our experiments. We have weights that go in the cab and inside the in, in the counterweight. And we have three different ropes. A short one, red, middle length, green, and very long, white. Sometimes these ones disappear or break. Let me know when that happens and we'll replace them. The goal of this activity is to demonstrate how pulley systems work and what kind of pulley systems elevators use. For that, we will compare between having a single pulley system or a complex pulley system that means that they, you use more of these wheels. It's very important how you connect the pulley systems to make it work properly. We'll start with the long rope. You attach it to the cab first. Goes once on top, once down. Second round on top, second round down, third round on top, and to this one. This one is always the last one, because it's the one that connects to the counterweight. But first, before you connect things to the counterweight, you have to try how they feel. Before that, you have to put some weight in the, in the cap. So let's put, let's add six people to the, count, to the cap. So we have six people in the cab and we want to raise them. Let's see how hard it is. This one, the long rope is pretty easy to raise. But let's see, if you have it here and you take it all the way down, how far does this go? It's very, very little. It would go maybe to the second floor and I don't think it even goes there. This travels very little distance when you have a, com a complex pulley system. However, it's very easy to lift. Let's see, if you put, if you add weight to the counterweight, how much weight do you have to add to balance these two? Balancing these two makes the engines in skyscrapers uh, save energy. So if we were using a complex pulley system in, a, in an elevator, how much effort would you need to make to balance these two? Probably not much because as you see, the counterweight is heavier. So the, this way, even an empty counterweight could could actually carry a lot of people. If we add all the people that we have into the cab, still the counterweight holds it very well. Now you kind of manage it. But then, you know, none of them would get to the top of the building. So let's try now with the middle length uh, rope. So let's try with the green, green one. The green one is middle length, as I told you before. So we try to do the same thing, but this time we connect once on top, once down, second time on top, and one here. So instead of three times, it's two times. It's a double pulley system. Let's add now the weight. Let's add six people again. Four, six people. If you raise it and you compare it with the one before, it's a little harder to lift it, actually. But if you pull the cord from the top to the bottom, this raises more. So the less pulleys you have here, the more distance this travels. But the, harded, the hardest is get, it gets to raise it. So let's try to balance it with the counterweight. Balance? Mm, no. It's still an empty counterweight can lift six people here, but still not balanced, so the engine will have to do a big effort. We have to make a big effort. So let's add some people here until we get it balanced. You see, it's less people. To get it balanced, it requires less people to get this balance. Could we use this in elevators? Probably not, because these people will get to the second or third floor only. They couldn't get to the top. So let's try to see what happens with a single pulley system. 
So now we connected one here on top and that's it. We don't connect it to this one at all. One top, one on this one. And you lift it. Huh. Let's add the six people. Ouch. This is kind of hard. Hold on. It's actually very hard <laughs> to lift. But this time, if you raise from the top to the bottom, ah, it goes all the way up. You see? So maybe, maybe not. Single pulley systems are the only systems that elevators can use. Let's try to balance it with a counterweight. For this one, since this is too heavy, with a single pulley system, bring the counterweight up. And let's start putting weight in the counterweight and see how many weights you have to put to lift six people. Cinco, seis. You balance it. With a single pulley system, you need the same weight in the counterweight to lift the cab. Six people, six weights. So they, the weight has to be equivalent in both of them. Single pulley systems are the systems that are used in elevators, actually. It's because it's the only way that the pulley can bring all the cab all the way to the top by using the counterweight. It requires more effort by the engine, but you can balance it with a counterweight. So this way is more efficient for skyscrapers. Now, since we finished the experiment, make sure you bring all the pieces back to where they belong. You disconnect it this way so it doesn't fall, doesn't break. And we put all the pieces together in order 